Hi, I'm Eric O'Dell with Continuous Testing Live, and we're here at booth 2523 at CA Technologies here at AWS reInvent, and I'm here with my friend Stephen Filoni. Steve, tell me what you do with CA Technologies. I'm VP of Products for our Continuous Delivery Business Unit. All right, you know, and as the VP of Products, I'm sure that you talk to an awful lot of enterprises about quality. You know, a lot of organizations that are struggling to improve their speed and to, at the same time get better quality. But whose responsibility is quality today? Now, if you'd ask that question and say, A, is it testers? B, is it developers? C, is it operations? D, all the above. The answer is D, all the above. It's everybody's responsibility. Okay, why is it everybody's responsibility? How's that transforming? Well, the reason why it's everyone's responsibility now is because when you're doing a DevOps, agile, continuous delivery, you don't have the opportunity to just throw things over the wall to a full testing team and have them test for weeks on end and give a blessing and say it's ready to go. When you're trying to release daily, weekly, monthly, whatever it is, you don't have that time, you don't have that luxury. So developers have to do the testing. Testers then have to do that testing that they need to do. Operations has to ensure that things are ready to go because you're pushing apps and services out fast. So it's everybody's responsibility to make sure everything is of high quality. Okay, so if testing and if quality is everyone's responsibility, this might seem a little you know, eerie to someone that's in the testing COE. How is their role evolving today with this new concept of it being everyone's, quality being everyone's responsibility? So, a lot of testers have been worried. They're saying, am I out of a job? Your, your job's evolving, as you said. It's not going away. So, centers of excellence are changing to centers of enablement, right? And they help teach and inform agile teams. They also have testers from these COEs that now go into scrums, and they're parts of the sprints. Now what changes is, testers are, have to become more technical. They have to be deeper into the code, deeper into the application, not just at the UI level. So there is a change in what they have to do, but the role is not going away. The role is actually more important than ever. Okay, in the last couple of weeks, I know that you've had some uh, really good conversations with some of the CA Technologies customers, and a lot of them are asking questions about pipeline orchestration. Can you tell us what, it, what, it, what is pipeline orchestration to begin with? All right, sorry for this, but I, it's in my head. We're building a pipeline, and no one knows where that came from. It's Depeche Mode. Look it up, it's a great song. Why am I singing? Because, because, we help rock your apps. So, Depeche Mode, building a pipeline. Sorry, just popped in my head. I forgot your question, I'm sorry. What is pipeline orchestration? Oh, pipeline orchestration. Well, there's a few types of pipeline orchestration, but in general, what pipeline orchestration is, is taking requirements, it starts with the requirements, goes into development, you're tracking what the developers are doing, how the application, how the service, how the functions you're building is going on, how that's progressing through any sort of integration testing, how that's progressing into pre-production, and what happens once it goes into production. So that's pipeline management. I said there's a few types. Some have build pipelines, like Jenkins, and others do release pipelines. Release pipelines is more important than builds because you do builds all the time, it's every day. You don't want to keep creating pipelines for every build. You want to track releases. And once you track the releases, then you have a better way of understanding your efficiency, how fast your releases are doing, how well the releases are doing in production, and you have better analytics. Okay, so pipeline orchestration, how does that concept, everything that you just talked about, how does that fit in with the idea of continuous testing? Okay, when you talk about continuous testing, continuous testing is all about, it's continuous. It starts from requirements, goes into development, goes into continuous integration, goes into production, goes into pre-production, all that, there's validation steps that go on. So you have continuous testing throughout. You're validating your requirements. You're validating 
what the developers are doing. They're validating to make sure they're doing, they're doing UI testing, they're doing unit testing, they're doing API testing. Then you have your integration testing, you have more UI testing, you have security testing. All these things go on. So with pipeline orchestration, as you go into the different stages, or you're in different stages, as build happens, you want to test off, kick off all those tests. So that happens. And as you progress through into pre-production, different types of tests, different types of validation goes on. So pipeline orchestration helps that. Once you go into production, the pipeline helps deploy into production, helps deploy your monitoring in production, which helps gives you the feedback back into uh, the business and developers. So that whole aspect is continuous testing. The only way to do the continuous testing is to manage that pipeline and have the testing go on through all stages of the pipeline. Okay, so here at AWS reInvent, people have the opportunity to learn more about pipeline orchestration and there's really a cool demo that they can come over and check out and it's all about a new product that uh, we've introduced recently called CD Director. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, so CD Director, I have to correct him. It was actually released over a year ago. What was new is cddirector.io, our SaaS version. That was just released. So with CD Director and cddirector.io, you have a way of managing your entire release pipeline. You can orchestrate all the different pieces that we talked about. So you can have it kick off uh, your tests. You can have it connect to Slack and other collaboration tools to alert people what's going on, how it's done. You know when builds are happening. You can kick off builds. All that is fantastic. But what else does it do? You know exactly what requirements are being worked on. You know what requirements the developers are working on. You know what requirements are in pre-production. You know what requirements were done when you did a release. When you're releasing all the time, daily, you don't know what's in those releases. But you need to track, you need the visibility. We give you that visibility. Now, one more thing. Let's talk dependencies. We track dependencies. So if something's ready for release, but it's dependent on something else, we won't release it until everything's ready to go. So we don't just orchestrate, we don't just give you the visibility, we also manage. Okay, so what would be the benefits? We talked about cddirector.io, it's brand new, it's in the cloud. What's the benefits of doing this in the cloud? Well, there's, there's many benefits, but let's walk over this way. So, one of the benefits is, now you can get access to it instantaneously. You don't have to download uh, an on-prem uh, product, you don't have to have a server, you don't have to maintain it. Just log in, get going. And you can do two releases, continuous concurrent releases, free online. So you can give access to anyone, unlimited users, go at it, set it up. You don't have to worry about having to maintain an on-prem. So that's one of the benefits. The other benefit is, we're connected to all the, the different systems. AWS pipeline, we're connected to that, so we work well with them. So there's cloud benefits to having it, there's ease of use benefits, ease of access benefits, there's many benefits to having it in SaaS. Okay, so if I want to find out more about cddirector.io, where do I go? cddirector.io. Really, that's just cddirector.io. I, I believe it's uh, cddirector.io. Okay, and did I hear you right? This costs a lot of money, right? You can start free. free. Yes, you have two concurrent releases that you can work on unlimited. Keep going, it's not a free trial, it's a freemium. So you can use it unlimited. Use two concurrents, just log on, get started, learn, see the beauty of it, love it, then you contact us. You don't have to talk to a salesperson, because really, who likes salespeople? Okay, so get started with cddirector.io right now. All right, thank you very much, Steve. And we're here live for the next three days here at AWS reInvent. I'm Eric O'Dell with Continuous Testing Live, and I want you to take a look at cddirector.io and try it out for free. Until then, we'll talk to you later.